All right, here's a tutorial on how to use Doc Hub to complete your online theory assignments. So I'm in Google Classroom right now. Uh, and by the way, I'm using the Chrome browser. Please use Chrome. Um, whether or not you're uh, on your Chromebook, obviously you'll be using Chrome. But if you're using a laptop, a desktop, or a tablet, it is highly recommended that you use Chrome uh, as these extensions are built in um, or can be added. So I'm in Google Classroom. As I said, I'm going to either click on the assignment here um, on the stream or I can go under Classwork. And uh, the latest assignment is Unit 2, Intervals Lesson 1. So I'm going to click on that. And what I want to do here is find the worksheet. So there's a video here, uh, there's a completed note, and then here's the worksheet, digital worksheet. So once I click on this, it's going to open up in the browser. Now all of this you can do right in the browser. Uh, it should be super simple for you so you don't have to download and print anything. Um, and when you open it up in the browser, you'll notice that there's nothing here. It should say open with. Uh, that's what we want. Now, if you have that there, that's great. Uh, a little further on in the video, you'll find out what to do. But most of you will have this screen. What you want to do is go over to the right, the three dots, more actions, click on that, and you want to open a new window. When you do that, then this drop down menu appears, and you're going to click on that. Now, most of you, if you're using your Chromebooks, will have this doc hub, so you can just proceed to click on that and complete the worksheet. Um, but if you don't have it, you're going to want to connect more apps. So just go down to the bottom of that list, connect more apps, and you're going to search for Doc Hub, capital D O C, capital H U and B, press enter. And it should appear here. Now there's tons of other ones that you could use, but this one I like because it integrates directly with your assignments in Google Classroom and Drive. So you want to click on that. Now, if it's not connected, it might say connect, uh, install. I don't know what it says because mine's already connected. Once you have it installed, however, you will see it on this drop down menu. You simply click on that, and your digital worksheet should open up uh, in this. Now, some of you, you may need to log in or sign in, so just do that. I'm using my daughter's uh, account right now, so uh, that should have went right away. So I want to choose that one. And I don't know what's going on. Now it's being funny. Sign in with Google. We'll try that. There we go. So you might have to sign in and give it permissions and all that kind of stuff, but eventually you will arrive at this screen here. So what you want to do is you want to start filling it in, just like you would in real, um, in person, I guess. I was going to say in real life, but in person. So you type in, I've put some fields here where you should type some information. And if you ever need to draw anything, uh, and here's a free answer for today's worksheet, you can simply grab the freehand tool up here, uh, choose your color if you'd like a different color, and uh, you simply click, hold, and draw. So I'm going to, if you have a mouse, trackpad would probably be the same. I'm just going to draw the set of my perfect pants, which comes from the video uh, that I uploaded for this lesson. And voila, I have the pants drawn. Okay, now once you're done completing all of the uh, worksheet, this is really important to pay attention to. So you're going to click on the download export tab. Now you have several options here and your first instinct might be to use Google Classroom. Do not use that option. All right, it provides a link which does not work. But if you do click on Google Drive, and you click on, make sure it says update existing with revisions, so it has your revisions. You're going to export that to Google Drive by clicking on that button. And once you're done, you just simply click OK. And it'll actually appear in the assignment itself. So what you'll do is you'll go back to the assignment. And I'm just going to go back. And I'm going to refresh. And then when I go back into the theory assignment, you'll notice that that document now, you can even see it on the viewer here. If I click into the assignment, whoops, uh, maybe view assignment, there we go. Uh, that PDF that's attached is now the one that I just marked up. You see that? It automatically put itself there. And what's great about that is now I can just simply turn in the assignment, boom, and then uh, I will be able to see uh, your digital version of your work and then I can mark it on Google Classroom. So I hope that was helpful. Again, you wanna be using Chrome for this. And uh, again, send me any questions uh, via the comment section of Google Classroom.